Hey biology students, uh, McGinty here to go over lesson 3.1, rules from sickle cell disease. So these are the types of rules that we have learned um, and that will help us answer the question, what have we learned about how populations change? So remember, we are talking about sickle cell disease. We have uh, science and engineering practice of constructing explanations. We have a cross-cutting concept of patterns, uh, specifically of cause and effect. And we're gonna take those ideas and apply them to what we have learned about sickle cell disease. So for this first box, variation. Remember variation means genotype and phenotype. Um, in sickle cell disease, uh, there are three types, three genotypes that we've learned about, and accordingly the three phenotypes. So that's what you're gonna record in this space. What are the genotypes? What are the phenotypes? Um, and any potential outcomes of those. In the next box, we actually have taken the uh, concept of ecology and we've broken it out into three parts. For reproduction, we're looking at a cellular and molecular level what reproduction is, how two genes get passed from generation to generation. For ecology competition, there are four primary things where competition occurs for species. So what is it that humans are actually competing for uh, in a natural environment? And this last one here is the ecology of differential reproductive success. Okay, so that's a fancy way of basically saying who survives to make babies. That's essentially what that means. So there are two ecologies that we're looking for here. Uh, one is the malaria, uh, so an environment that has malaria in it and then the environment without malaria. Uh, so think about these two uh, spaces and what is it that we can learn from uh, which genotype and phenotype uh, survives best to then reproduce offspring. Finally, we come to the interactions between variations, so the genotype phenotype, and the ecology, and that's gonna lead to a population over time, or a change in the population over time. So what is, and that's what goes in this box, what is that change in the population over time? Remember, you're gonna address this from two perspectives, a place with malaria present and a place without malaria present. How does sickle cell disease potentially change in that population over time? So that is what this rules from sickle cell disease sheet is all about. Uh, so take a moment to think through these concepts, dig back to some of the resources from the previous lessons uh, if you need to and fill them in. Uh, if you have any questions or you get stuck on something, remember always reach out to your teacher, to your peers, uh, ask those questions, take the time that you need to get through them. And I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson.